The Senate has urged the federal government to provide a permanent solution to the flooding issues in the country. It also urged the relevant ministries, departments and agencies to release funds as provided for in the 2022 budget. This followed a motion stating the urgent need to intervene in the flooding issues in Shagamu, Ijebu area of Lake of Ogun East, Senatorial District, Ogun State, Edu and Patigi area of Kwara North, Senatorial District of Kwara State and other parts of the country sponsored by Senator Gwenga Daniel Ogun East and Senator Omar Sadiq Suleiman. In supporting the motion, some senators made their contributions. The state should please note that the Nigeria Meteorological Agency, NIMET, has forecasted that the level of rainfall in 2023 will surpass that of 2022. <clears throat> that the Nigeria Meteorological Agency Also know that um, the 2023 annual flood outlook prepared by the Nigerian Hydrological Services Agency showed that 178 local government areas in 32 states and the FCT fell within the highly probable flood risk areas. I so second, Mr. President. After seconding, Mr. President, let me add that it's not rocket science. We already know that these events will happen, and it has always been happening. Our approach to this normally is always to scratch the problem on the surface, which we do palliatives, we give them mattresses, give them food stuff. But Mr. <coughs> President, what our people go through as a result of flooding is better imagined. Mr. President, sir, the issue of flooding in Nigeria has become an annual ritual. And you can predict with almost certainty that there will be flood and there will be destruction of lives and properties in certain areas of Nigeria almost every year. I think we need to come up with short-term measures and long-term measures to approach the problem of flooding in Nigeria. It is more urgent in the FCT because this is the capital, there's a lot of flooding, estates are being covered up to the roofs, trade more. A few days ago, 115 people were affected. Last week, two or three people died in the trade more. The airport road gets covered when there's flooding. The Senate resolved that the Federal Ministry of Water Resources should revisit the proposed construction of Dasen Hausa Dam and other dams to accommodate the floodwaters from Lagdo Dam in Cameroon. Adequate funds were provided for in the 2023 budget. So I think we should say maybe urge relevant ministries, departments and agencies to release funds as provided for in the 2023 budget for dredging of block canals and water bodies amongst others. Those who are in support as amend, they say aye. aye. Those again say no, the aye service. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.